right guys, so right here I'm testing the line strength of the fishing line right here and I'm using a bunch of different pound test line and uh, what I have here is my fishing skill. So basically I have the line tied to a nail and uh, on the other side I have the line tied to my uh, fish scale right here and basically all I'm doing is pulling with my fishing skill to see when the line breaks and then I'm recording that and I'm using the same piece of string over and over after it breaks to see like if it starts breaking successively like at lower pound test or lower poundage like a force. Um, so I'm trying to find out basically if you snag your line five times in a row what happens to your line if you keep breaking it off as it slowly diminishes the strength. So that's what I'm doing here today and uh, so right here you can see I'm going to slowly pull forward and uh, you can see that this is a digital scale that I got actually for about three bucks and it goes up to 100 pounds. It's a really nice scale. But right now I have really light pound test so I'm just slowly pulling it to see when it gives away and then I'll record that value. 5.5 is the pound that it broke at so I'm going to go ahead and record. All right, guys, as you can see right here, here's all the data that I got together. I used 8-pound test, 14-pound test, and 30-pound test, and uh, used the same piece of string over and over again and kept retying it and breaking it, retying it, breaking it, and recorded all those data points. Um, I also did a couple trials with a knot in the line, and as you can see, um, like for instance, the 8-pound test line right here, as soon as I put that knot in it, almost it nearly halved the, pound, the strength of the line with just a simple granny knot in the line really shows the importance of having no knots in your line. Um, the reason why it doesn't do that for fishing knots, like break so easily, is because fishing knots are designed to kind of loop around a whole bunch on your line, so it doesn't, the line doesn't become such an abrasive to itself as a, a regular granny knot would. Um, you can see I've highlighted a couple outliers here. This 15.5 under the 30 pound test and 10.1 under the 14 pound test. There were a few times I'd like to mention where although overall you can kind of see the trials really varied a lot maybe a, sometimes went down a little bit every trial the line strength but in general didn't actually snagging it over and over again didn't really affect the line strength that much or compromise it that much however there were a few circumstances where i think when i pulled on the line it really another point was just about to give but in, before it could give another point gave and normally i don't think this happened but then when i retied it the second time it didn't take much force at all to break it so there are some circumstances where I think you have to be careful. It can compromise the line in a couple spots just by getting it snagged. Usually though, from the data here is one point gives and it doesn't compromise the rest of the line that much. Um, I'm gonna go into a couple other things I've noticed and some other things to be aware of when you're fishing and you're snagging your line a lot. All right guys, right here I wanna show you one of the things that I've found to doing these experiments on the line strength. Um, one thing I noticed is when I put a little knot in the line, this is just kind of like a little granny knot. And a lot of times this happens, especially with spinning reels, you get your line kind of tangled up. You get it out for the most part, but then there's that one little knot you can't get out with your fingernails because it's so small and uh, tied together. There's really no way to get it out without cutting your line. And uh, you might be tempted to throw it back out there. And I used to do this sometimes, but uh, right here on this bucket rim right here that I've been tying some lines to, Basically what's been happening is uh, I've tied the line to the rim and then about six inches out I tie a knot and every time these lines are breaking at that knot. All these pieces of string right here are from all the different trials I've done and every time it's breaking about six inches out where I tied the knot. So you can see it's tied on right there, it breaks about six inches out and every time it breaks, it breaks at almost half the normal strength it does if there isn't that little grain.